Hello ladies and gentlemen, I welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards. Today we are going to talk about background worker in C Sharp, okay? We are going to see how you can do stuff in the background thread and then update the UI at the same time, okay? Without uh, freezing the user interface. So this is what we are going to see. Like you can see, uh, if I click start, you can see it's updating the progress bar as well as the label, the percentage, okay? It goes then if uh, when it's through it tells me I'm done suppose I start again and then click cancel it tells me it's been cancelled so that's what we're going to see we're going to see how you can we can make something like that one so that you can apply it in your code so as you can see uh, I've already def uh, designed my form you can see this form uh, I've given it background worker demo title then uh, I dragged a uh, a group box uh, from the toolbox okay here is my group box and then for the for my group box uh, I went to the properties and changed uh, its color its back color I changed to Sienna and then I gave it a uh, an image okay just a small image just to make it look better but these are not really a much so here is our bug uh, progress bar I also dragged it from there and then I also drag the label okay then at uh, the label I change some of its properties like the font color just to make it more visible also these are the buttons I've also changed their back color okay you can see and their size so the first thing that we'll do we shall click the uh, start button and the cancel button but before going to the code remember now uh, we also have to uh, bring the background worker okay so drag your background worker i think I've al i already have one yeah known as background worker one then please uh, right click your background worker and then in the properties section uh you can see set its work uh, worker report progress to true then worker supports cancellation to true also then in the events uh please check all these ones they do work the progress change and the run worker completed okay now this is this is how the way you can see at the start button then the cancel button then uh, for our background worker normally the heavy work uh, shall always be done in the do work method okay in the do work event background worker do work event then uh, for the background worker progress change this one shall be responsive of updating the progress then background worker uh, dot run worker completed shall be responsible uh, shall be called when the work is completed okay called when uh, work is over right yeah so that is the way then i shall also create a custom method known as do work now inside this do work this is where we shall do that heavy work and to do that heavy work actually uh it's very simple we shall just simulate uh uh doing it do heavy work now what we shall do uh i shall just create a try catch block okay try catch uh then Uh, thread uh, no it's not really thread interrupted exception okay uh, then I, I shall put some message box now what or, what I shall do here is just uh, that I will uh, call thread dot sleep and then uh, for 100 milliseconds okay that is a tenth of a second so th this shall be the the we shall be simulating doing some heavy work over here okay then uh when there is an error i shall just call uh display it in a message box sorry i'm having 
problem here so message box dot show then we shall simply say uh, we shall simply uh, output that error error dot message okay so this one this this is what shall represent our heavy work okay now we shall come to our do work method and then write for int i equal to zero i is less than a hundred i plus plus this one let's give it a uh, i is less than or equal to a hundred so that it does not stop at ninety nine then inside our uh, for loop the first thing that we shall do is that we shall check if if uh, the background worker supports cancellation so say if uh, background worker one dot uh, cancellation pending no we shall we, we, we shall check uh, if the user has tried to cancel okay Cance uh, cancellation pending equal to true then uh, inside there e dot cancel suppose the user cancels it uh, we shall set the e dot cancel to true okay then we shall break out of the loop so this one actually what before we start doing our job the first thing uh, that we shall do we shall check if there is cancellation pending okay that is if the user has clicked uh, cancel before we go uh, before we iterate over the loop if not if uh, that is not the case then i uh, shall just do our heavy work okay then uh remember we also want to report progress so just say background worker one dot report progress then uh, for the progress we we'll pass over the i so that one what shall happen is that uh, this i over here the bug report progress method shall send it over here okay now what we'll do we'll capture we'll capture it here sorry we shall capture it in this background worker one progress change event and then use it to update the progress bar and to do that one is very simple we just call our progress bar say progress uh, bar one okay then uh, dot value we assign its value equal to e dot progress by percentage okay so that one shall return an integer and then that integer we shall assign it to the progress bar value and then remember we ha we also created a label so the percentage label so we shall also uh, update the label just say e dot progress percentage okay then we shall convert it to string because we want to display it in a label and then probably at at the end we shall just put something like a percentage percentage label percentage sign so uh, th these two stuffs shall be responsible for updating the user interface you can update as many things as you want over here for us today we shall update the label and the progress bar then uh, uh that that uh, event shall be responsible for uh, updating the progress bar. then uh, when the work is over uh, the run worker completed event shall be called okay now the first thing that we want to do uh before we want to uh, before we do anything before we display any message we want to check uh what has finished the background worker okay if because it it it, it will not only be called when the work is fit can also be called when probably the user cancels or if there is an error so what we want to do is first of all check if cancelled of which we shall say if e dot cancelled if e dot cancelled equal to true 
okay then uh, we shall probably uh, display some message we can just display uh, some message to tell us that it was cancelled so uh, you can just type any message I've typed uh, you've killed me that is if it is uh, cancelled okay you can see the message box to show then we shall use the warning icon okay now that is that is what shall happen uh, when it is cancelled okay but remember uh, it it is not just about cancellation. C there can there can also be error. There can be anything. But before uh, once once we've displayed that message, then we we'll also want to uh, make sure that for the we set the progress value because the user can cancel it at any value. So we just want to set it uh, to zero. Okay. Then we we'll, shall also want to probably clear the uh, text box or set it to its default like something like that one set it to empty okay that is in case it is cancelled what about uh, if uh, probably there is an error so what we shall do is that we shall check check if not okay e dot error okay equal to null then uh, we shall display uh, like if we shall we shall just uh, display that particular message the error message uh, that shall be given we have an error so we shall display this message uh, e dot error message dot message if e dot error okay if e dot error equal to null which we need another uh, bracket over here okay you can see it it's here so uh, suppose there is an error uh, this is the message that shall be displayed okay that is if we have an error but if we don't have an error and it is also not uh, it has also not been cancelled then it simply means that uh, it's our work is done so we shall just uh, display uh, the mess um, some text box to show that the work is some message box to show that the work is over yeah so I shall just uh, display something like this one I'm done okay then message box that okay then information uh the icon message box icon dot information then remember so far we've not yet executed our our stuff okay we've just uh we've just defined uh the events we've just populated the events but we've not yet executed them so to execute it if we were to execute a background worker you'll just come and say background worker one dot run worker I think okay that is the message uh, that shall uh, execute our background worker otherwise if you want to cancel it the first thing that we shall do uh, we shall come to our cancel uh, button then the first thing that we shall do is that we shall check if the background worker uh, supports cancellation so I shall say dot worker supports cancellation equal to true okay then uh, if it supports it we shall say uh, background worker one dot cancel async sorry I'm having a lot of problem with my intelligence dot cancel async okay so this one shall be responsible for cancelling otherwise you can just uh, probably tell the user that the background worker does not support cancellation so guys uh, let's run uh, the program and see 
so here here it is you can see it uh let me minimize this one so if i click start uh, you see the background worker and the label are being updated okay let's wait for it to finish i think this is nice so what you can do is that inside you do heavy work uh, you can replace your particular work that you want to do in the background then if i click cancel it cancels it okay and resets the progress bar okay so guys hope you've enjoyed the tutorial please if you have uh, subscribed to this channel uh, comment on this video please like it share it with your friends i'm sure they shall like it and please take care see you next time